Lifetime. Call me the way that I do for a hush moment. Like this. Yes, sir. Life is good, Shmo. I know why they say sweet dreams now. This is the Schmo with the pro. He's 12, 1 and 1. He's the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The first one from Dana White's contender series in the history of the company. He's sweet dreams. Jamal Hill in the flesh, Las Vegas, Nevada. How we doing? You're doing good, Schmo. That was good. I like that. That's how that's how you introduce a new champ. Some people could take some notes. You looked at the Schmo weird when we're talking about that extra one, that draw at the end. You know how the Schmo feels about those draws. Why did they even put down the record? I don't even know, man, but we, we got to drop that schmo. We got to drop that. It's 13 to 1. There it is. Now talk to the schmo for a second. What's life like being the champion of the light heavyweight division in the UFC? It's been pretty good, you know. Um, it's been interesting to see the changing of the guard. Everybody's like, oh, I'm not really focused on him. I'm focused on the goal of being the champion to where I am the goal and I am the champion. Damn right, man, because the Schmo saw you wearing that Schmo Zone t-shirt the night you got the phone call when there was just, I guess, no winner from the Ankolaev and the uh, Polish Hammer Jan Bohovic fight, man. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Like, uh, that was weird. Um, Agamemnon sent a tweet out talking about uh, my belt, but you, you, didn't, you didn't win. You, you, you got to win, bro. You know, so that's funny. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm game for I'm game for everybody. But right now, how how I see it, and from based off of what I know, you know, what I mean, he gonna have to he gonna probably gonna have to get another dub before he get a title shot. So it's what it is. Like I said, I'm here for everybody. Yeah, the Schmo was going to ask you, who's the most deserving? Because you got Magomed, you got Yuri Prohaska, who you ran into earlier today inside the PI. And then you got Poton, Alex Pereira, talking about you, but he's in the middleweight division. Yeah, that was that's another weird one. Like, my man's like, uh, me being a backup fighter for a weight class, 20 pounds under me, which uh, depends on how much they're paying, you know, when... Yeah, nah. Um, I think he should probably focus on Izzy because uh, he was getting his ass whooped for a good majority of that fight last time before he won I mean, the last one. Which where was that same quick stop energy at when I was uh, when I was on his boy? Cause that was, that was the same. That was the same ref, right? I got it. So, do you foresee him beating Izzy in that rematch? No, <laughs> nah. I, um, I I think he he got um he got some things that that happened for him like the like the like the leg check at the end and things. But uh, I think if Izzy just look, just throw hands, just box him, just quick, just quick, and just be just outbox him, he will win. So what was the conversation like with Yuri Prohaska when you ran into him today here at the UFC PI? No, we just shook hands. He was like, uh, he was like, hi, nice to meet you. I was like, what's up, bro? We just shook hands. And he he went. To, he was doing. He was doing physical therapy and stuff. He working to get back, and uh, I can't wait for him to be back. You think he's going to be your first title defense, or do you think it's going to be somebody else? Um, that's what I'm hoping. I'm letting him do his thing, letting him focus on recovery, and um, yeah, hope I'm hoping that he makes some some significant strides and he ends up being being the first title defense, but. Like I said, man, somebody else step up and makes a makes a good uh makes a good case. And it's the next man up. It's a good time to be sweet dreams, huh? Business is booming. Business is booming. Now talk to the schmo for a second, man. You're probably the best basketball player in mixed martial arts that nobody talks about. If you were to make your starting five, who would be on that team? From from yeah, from UFC, but from UFC, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna go with me. I'm gonna go Kevin Holland. I'm gonna go Jalen Turner. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I know it's oh Cyril Gaon. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cyril Gaon, and I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, who else? I'm going to go Izzy. I'm going to assume Izzy knows how to hoop. So are you playing the four or the five with Cyril gone down low? Both you guys would be the twin towers getting all the boards. 
Point forward. Point forward, like a Dirk Nowitzki. No. Like LeBron? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's yeah, go. LeBron. He's going to surpass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for most points NBA history. That's big time stuff. Yeah, man. Shout out to him, man. You know, I've been a little fan for... Yeah, for a long time, and you know, yeah, I've been watching. I've been rooting for him, so yeah, I'm happy to see him keep keep uh, knocking down barriers and achieving greatness. Just like you, my man. Now Pereira, he's talking about you going down to middleweight. You made that reference. You're not going to do that. You're more likely to go up to heavyweight because the dream fight the schmo knows you want is John Bones Jones. So is it safe to say that we're going to see Jamal Hill chasing for champ champ status before it's all said and done? Light heavyweight and heavyweight division. I uh, mean, I'm here for challenges, you know, and if the, uh, I knock down the other challenges and that eventually is a challenge that stands that stands out, yeah, I'm definitely going for that, and I'm definitely down for that. In the air tonight, Phil Collins, man. Talk to the schmo about those sh moments you were feeling inside the cage because you already knew that you were going to win the fight before the bell even rang. Uh, yeah, it was just a song that whenever I heard it, like, a while ago, it's been like actually like about a year and a half, two years ago. I mean, when I was just like listening to it and it was just like, when I fight for the title, this is the song I was going to pick. So it's been picked out for a long time. So I felt like it fit the, it fit the moment, put me in the right mindset, set the mode right for me. And uh, yeah, it was a good choice. And you made DC know all week who's the best Madden player and who's the real deal in the light heavyweight division. Oh yeah, DC DC know what it is. He know what it is, especially when they're mad. He don't he don't want to play me in Madden anymore. Ever again. Ever again. Ever. Can we get a final message for all the sweet dream fans out there worldwide. Man, I appreciate y'all. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all. And uh we on top and we ain't going nowhere. He's the pro. I'm the Schmo Las Vegas. The champ. We're out. Bye.